I'm going to do what's generally known as an unboxing video. This was delivered to me last Thursday, but I've left it until today, which is Wednesday, to open it. The reason is, today is my birthday. This even has beer on it. It just so happens I have beer. Cream on. Cream on. So let's open this. Cheers. So this box I won in a competition. Um, it was a draw organised by Phil Myers of Myers Metal Detecting down in uh, Florida um, and also Jeff Moen who does the uh, programme with him called uh, uh, Treasure Tales. This prize here um, was uh, a draw prize and it's from a guy called Casey Dittman who uh, makes uh, Excalibur shovels. So let's uh, let's open this up. It's, it's really really nicely packed. <coughs> I do like somebody that knows who, how to pack. So I'll open that like that. Close that. And let's see what we've got. Ah. So, <coughs> this particular digging shovel is called Excalibur and it's really quite magic and it's also in Digging Canuck Red. this out of the way. I'll put that. I'll put that on the table to protect the table. So Casey Dittman, who uh, makes all of these, um, he makes them by hand in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, every single one of these is made by Casey. Um, he used to be a uh, NASCAR uh, exhaust fabricator. Uh, he is a craftsman welder. Uh, he was also um, a metal detectorist. So every one of his designs has been uh, honed in the field, taken back and um, made into absolutely the best uh, metal detecting shovel that money can buy. Um, this particular one is covered by uh, lots and lots of patents um, for lots of different reasons. So the reason this one is so special is because it's a uh, travel shovel or a folding shovel. Uh, normally the ones that you buy are uh, very utilitarian uh, and usually not particularly strong. So this one has two clips here and you squeeze them. And remember he said it will only go in one way. So they're offset. Yeah, so the offsets are correct. You click it in and it locks into place. One of the great things about this is there is absolutely no movement whatsoever. So when you're using it, um, it, it literally doesn't move. It's very, very strong. Um, the shovel which I'm using at the moment is a uh, builder shovel. Uh, it's very heavy and also when I hold it upright like this and do that, the handle shakes. This one doesn't. So there's a number of things on this. I'm going to take it apart like so. A number of things on this are very special. One of them is that uh, Casey puts these little, um, he calls them tack welds, but um, I think that uh, um, grit bumps would be a better description. He also puts them on the on the top of the um, uh, footrest um, so that uh, your foot doesn't slip off, which is clever. It's just so much 
uh, attention to detail. Another thing is one of the one of his patents is that each one of these serrations has uh, a second serration, and this will cut both ways. So if you're cutting through roots, uh, every time you do that, it's on a cutting stroke. Um, he does them in uh, uh, eight different colours, um, and as well as being a powder coat, it also has a grip coat. Uh, in the places where uh, you're going to hold it, this is obviously one of them, uh, it has a sort of a textured surface so that when you're using it, it doesn't slip. Um, especially good uh, if you've got uh, um, muddy or wet hands. And they're also on the, on the top here so that you can really get some power behind your digging. It actually feels, it feels nice. It's, it has texture without being rough. Um, so what else can I tell you? You can get these in uh, uh, two different uh, types of handle. This one is called a D handle and you can also get them uh, as a T handle. So the T handle would just go across like that. Um, it, they're fully customised as far as uh, length goes. So as well as having a uh, T handle or a D handle, um, you can have them in a length from uh, 17 to 50 inches long. Um, my one is a little bit longer than normal because I normally detect on beaches. I actually walk with the spade behind me uh, so that as I walk, um, it, um, it leaves a trail. And then when I get to the other end of the beach and come back, uh, I know where I've been. Uh, the handles is a really nice feel. Um, the other thing about them is that um, the steel is uh, aircraft quality steel. It's also hardened and tempered and you can tell it, uh, it rings because it's hardened. Um, there's a two year uh, warranty on the uh, shovels, but he said in uh, one of the um, live streams that uh, if anybody ever has a problem, uh, and apparently nobody has ever broken one, um, he, uh, he just says, talk to me and we'll sort something out. Uh, one of the other great things about this particular design is if you want to, you can have um, one long handle like I've got, and then if you were doing, uh, say, um, uh, park digging, uh, where you wanted a very short handle, you could actually have um, a handle like this, but only, say, this long, and then this handle would then fit into that. So you basically end up with, uh, um, with two uh, shovels instead of one. Um, but I'm, I'm very pleased with this. I was, when, I was, when I actually won the competition, um, I was actually on Casey's site uh, looking at them uh, and deciding uh, whether or not to, uh, to buy one. Uh, I'm glad I waited. Um, when, when my name was called, um, I, was, uh, I was so nervous I could hardly type. Uh, one of the things that uh, is covered by this patent is that um, these two holes here are slightly offset. Um, so you can only put it in one way if you try to turn it uh, through 90 degrees it won't go in this way uh, because of the very slight offset um, yeah that's the right way around slide that in and locks into place uh, the other thing is that Casey puts this on which is um, um, a reflective tape um, one of the things um, because he does testing himself um, he did a night dig once, or was digging late into the day, uh, put his uh, digging tool down uh, and lost it. So he thought, well, let's put some uh, reflective tape onto it. And in fact, he does um, a reflective powder coat that you can cover the whole uh, shovel with if you want uh, and have a completely uh, glow-in-the-dark um, shovel. But uh, I think I've covered, I've got notes on my uh, tripod here. I'll just run through everything. 
uh, customizable yeah so uh, totally customizable whatever length uh, whatever type of handle um, you can order everything from his uh, website which is uh, excaliburshovels.com uh, so thank you to uh, Casey um, as I say it it came last Thursday but uh, I wanted to open it today so um, uh, thanks to uh, to Casey Dittman of Excalibur Shovels and thank you to um, uh, Phil Myers uh, down in Tampa Florida and Jeff Moen who actually called my name so thank you guys cheers <laughs>